Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and this video will be talking about what is the use of summarize option in Databricks. So we will see what does it do and what is the application or where we can use this summarize things, right? So first of all, what I can do is that, you know, I create a dummy data set, I can say, and then I will let you know what is the use of this command. Cool. So for that, what I'll do, I'm just going to create one data. So I'll just write here one, let's say, second name is Sagar. Cool. And then, um, yeah, this is kind of first row. Okay. This is kind of first row and second row would be like two and Alex. Cool. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a schema. Cool. Okay. Leave it. We will we will skip the uh, schema option and then I'm just going to create a data frame. So I'll write here spark dot create data frame data frame. Cool. And I'll pass here data and the schema would be like the schema would be like uh, ID ID comma what uh, name. Let's say I'm just going to run this. Now you can see we got some error. So the error would be the error is um, one minute ID name, right? So this is the error. Now you can see it is correct, right? So the ID is long and name is a string. Now I'm going to use a summarize command. So for that, what I can do, I can write here dbutils dot data dot summarize. And then here I have to pass a data frame. So once I run it, then you can see it will return a visualization of your data. You know, if you can see over here, it is showing the count, missing, mean, standard deviation, zeros, minimum, maximum, and so on, so on. Right. So you can see over here that uh, the the maximum value, I mean, the count, the count of ID column is, uh, is 2, missing is 0%, mean is 1.5 standard deviation is 0 0.7 and so on you can see the maximum value also the maximum value of this is 2 cool because he see why it is created uh, you know why it return all these stuff like count missing mean and all because the first parameter the first uh, the, this id is present in the integer type okay so in t integer can be deal with this these all things right these all these parameters but if i talk about the string value here it shows only it shows only the categorical features like count missing unique value top frequency of top average length and so on cool so you know you can visualize your data or what i can say you can analyze your data set you know how much how much count you have how much missing values you have and so on so on so see what i can do is over here is that i i'm gonna i'm gonna add one more okay one more thing and here i'll just give okay something is something wrong happened let me just refresh it again Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add here a null data set. So for that, I'll just write here um, none. And then uh, in this, you know, in this name option, I will add one more name, let's say John. And let me just run it again. So if I run it, run this debuters.data to summarize, and you can see over here is that the missing is 33.33. .33. Okay, so count is 2 and missing is 33, mean is this and so on. Like you can see everything over here. So why it happened? Because, you know, before that the missing percentage was 0. But now the missing per percentage is 33.33. Matlab, 1 out of 3, 3 out of 1 is missing, right? So that's how, you know, it got painted. So let me also show you uh, the, you know, uh, how much, how many parameters this summarize summarize uh, summarize things takes so for that what i can do i can write here dbutils.data.help and inside this help 
uh, I can I have to pass the method name so if I pass this method name over here then you can see it will return the definition of this definition of this uh, function so summarize a spark data frame and visualization visualize the statics to get quick insights and you know the the command is this there is another option precise is equal to false so this is by default precise is equal to false if you want to make it true then we have to explicitly write this parameter and first parameter would be df the data frame to summarize streaming data sets are not data frames are not allowed or not supported as of now it only supports the you know batch streaming sorry batch processing things batch data frames and second parameter would be like you know precise if false percentiles distinct item counts and so on so on will be computed approximately to reduce the runtime if it is true then distinct item counts frequent item count will be computed exactly and percentiles will be computed with high precision but it will take some time right so that's why we just write uh, just that's why by default it is it is false and it returns visualization of the computed summary statistic and you can see this is the and it it returns void okay now no 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 see what i can do i can also make this integer things to uh, to uh, again again this happening let me reload the thing there is some error in my internet yeah so what i was saying what i will i will do i will make this i will make this id uh, as an string and then we'll see what this function returns okay so just let me just run this again and if i run this function then you can see we will not have this mean median all all of the parameters we will not have it see now it has only you know it has only this uh, count missing unique top frequency top average length and the uh, you know data type of the column okay so i hope you understood this video and you you understood this concept like where you can use this summarize function you know when you are analyzing your data how many uh, how many missing it has how many unique values it has and so on then you can use this summarize command in order to get the analyze to get the insights of the data and in in later video i will be talking more about the delta table data live table and how we can schedule the pipeline in databricks and so on so please keep watching my videos if you are liking it please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel till then bye bye